There were 15 shootings from Friday to Sunday. Yeah, all throughout the newscast, we've touched on so many of them, but we're going to take a look at the wider look at gun violence in the Queen City for a moment. Our investigative reporter Candace Hare has been reaching out to city and community leaders. Yeah, asking why, and it'd be really good though, Candace, if somebody would say, you know what, we see the problem and this is what we're going to do, but that's not happening. It, it's not. I mean, summer is only just underway, and as you both mentioned, we saw 15 shootings in three days. And with that recent spike in shootings over the weekend, I went down to City Hall. This is not the first time we've done this, and we went there to find out what is being done to keep you, your loved ones, and your children safe from gun violence. This is a, an incredibly sad time for our city. On the streets of Cincinnati, there were 15 shootings in three days really frustrated. There's a rise of gun violence in young people, and that's what's even more concerning. And so we have to really get a hold of that. In 2023, reported shootings are on par with recent years. That's according to city data. But the number of people under the age of 18, kids, who are being shot is spiking. The 32 kids reportedly shot in 2023 is the highest number of kids that have been shot since the city began keeping online records of shooting data in 2008. So I asked some city council members what they plan to do to protect those who visit, live and work in Cincinnati. When we see these numbers, is that a notice that either this isn't enough or we need to find a way to do more? I think it's we find a way to do more with what we have and in the given time frame that we have. We've heard officials say we're frustrated. We've heard officials say we're going to do something, and yet we sit here, shootings are on par with recent years, many more kids are being shot. What would you say to those people right now? That we are not giving up, and so while there's no magic answer, there are solutions and we're working on them. Vice Mayor Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney did highlight the money the city is putting toward gun violence, including allocating funds towards adding police recruits and funding neighborhood groups that aim to help kids stay on the right track. But when it came to what needs to happen now, specific answers from the city were few and far between. It's hard to to see these events happen in our city and not have some sort of response. And sometimes it's okay. I think it's, it's okay to be in a space of we don't have the answers. And so that's why I think an ongoing conversation is important. And I think we all know that w there's more work to be done and that is not lost on us. So not many specifics were laid out as you heard. I will say both Vice Mayor Kearney and Council Member Owens said they are working to try to fix this. They said they won't give up, but how long that takes to see results this time around? Well, that remains to be seen, Rob and Tricia. Yeah, it sounds like they had a couple of ideas, but they keep talking about talking. I think what's the difficult thing? We all of us have been at scenes. You were just in OTR last yeah. week, Rob. And when we're there, when we're talking to community members, they want it fixed now. I think that's the hard part is we're, we're not hearing a lot of ideas of what's going to be implemented right now. And that's what people want to know. That's what they want to know. I think if anything, you want to know what are they working on and all we're hearing is they're talking. Well, you know, we know that the shootings have been up. We, we talk about this all the time. Yeah. There's so many shootings at, at night. I mean, we don't even cover all of them a, a lot of the times and it used to be, you know, you would just get one or two shootings a week, it seemed. But now it, it, it's a lot. The question is, who's going to jail? Who's who's you know, are, are people afraid to like hand people in? I guess that's the that's the question. It is part of it. I will say when I spoke to the vice mayor, she did say one element of this that they want more help on from the community is to make it known when they know somebody shot someone or committed a crime. She mentioned that you can call Crime Stoppers, you can be anonymous, but the fact that many people are afraid to do that, afraid of what might retaliation might happen sure. to them, many of those people, they don't get caught. Yeah. The many of these shootings, they go unsolved. Right, right, right. I can see their point. Right, me too. I can see them being scared. Candace, thank you. She's going to stay on it for us. Hopefully get to the bottom of something. We'll, we'll continue to be on it and you can download our free mobile news app anytime. We never wait for a newscast to bring you the very latest. So if you download that for free, we can send it right to your mobile device.